Inktober in San Francisco. Hi, I'm Melanie Mansik, and I'm doing the Inktober challenge this year. And even though I love drawing every day, it takes time and effort. And after a few days, I felt like I needed to pick me up because I was losing motivation and inspiration. So I decided to go to the city, sit down at a park, and draw. Let's go to San Francisco. I chose the painted ladies because they're beautiful and iconic. I mean, just look at them. But also because in front of them, you'll find the Alamo Square. Always full of people and dogs and it's a whole vibe. The day was hot and it was the perfect place to chill and draw. The day my prompt was a rhino with crystal horns. And the technique I'm using is black and white color pencils and alcohol markers over gray toned paper. It's a very easy and effective technique. All the materials are listed down in the description box. And my theme this year was surreal animals. Animals with something different, like the rhino with crystals or the elephant with butterfly wings. It's been a challenging but also super rewarding theme. I really like it. Besides the beautiful Victorian houses, this area also has amazing murals. San Francisco is full of art, and you can even go on mural tours around the city, where you'll be able to see some of the best murals. Super inspiring. Now I have to admit that I didn't properly prepare for this drawing. <laughs> I didn't bring a reference photo to follow, and that's why the rhino is not perfect or super detailed. But I love the crystal, I practice beforehand and I develop a technique to draw crystals without a reference and I think it worked. Let me know what you think. It's actually pretty easy. I really like this technique because you start with mid-tones already in your paper. That means you just have to add shadows and highlights and that is a super effective way of making things look more 3D in an easy way. It also is really good for understanding values. And this is the final result! I'm pretty happy with it, especially with the crystal part. Can't wait to keep drawing every day. Remember to go out and find inspiration from your environment. And also remember that it's better done than perfect. You might not love all your indoor drawings and that's okay. So just keep going and bye-bye!